actress had been performing as Wicked Fairy Godmother Carabas in a pantomime production of Sleeping Beauty. But staff tipped off police after suspecting she had used cocaine at the theater. A source said police stopped her when she tried to get in a taxi and searched her. Tina Malone has been spotted for the same time since being arrested and cautioned for possession of cocaine on Friday night, after a performance in pantomime Sleeping Beauty. And the former Shameless star looked casual as she headed to Sainsbury's grocery store to do some food shopping on Sunday. The 54-year-old actress cut a downcast figure in a bulky faux fur coat and skinny leather trousers as she attempted to forget about her woes on Christmas Eve. Scroll down for video after reportedly breaking her silence on social media following her subsequent pantomime acts, Tina cut a solemn figure as she headed for a last-minute festive food shop. Tina was dressed to combat the winter chill in a grey and brown shaggy coat which she paired with an equally cosy scarf. The Liverpool native added a slight edge to her ensemble in shiny pair of leather trousers which complemented her buckled black ankle boots. Tina opted to take a break from glamour and go makeup free while taming her tresses in place with a blush pig beanie hat. The mother of two cut a cello figure as she headed into the store, as well as heading out with a trolley full of purchases. While it's been a difficult time for her, Tina was given a hug from a passerby as she made her way to her vehicle. Tina has been spotted out for the first time since she shared a Facebook post following her arrest and pantomime acts, according to The Mirror Online. In the post, the star allegedly wrote her life had been ruined by the incident and added that her daughter hates her and that her toy boy husband Paul Chase, 35, had been left devastated. The post reads, Thank you to all those who supported me through this horrific time. My mother is ill because of the shock. My daughter now utterly hates me and thinks I am a drug addict. My hubby is devastated. I have not had my last payment so those that vilify me, hate me sick fill your boots. I am distraught, devastated. My life is ruined the repercussions are unbelievable. Have I ever drunk, taken drugs etc etc yes yes. Am I proud, no. Mail Online has contacted a representative for Tina for comment. Tina has two daughters, Danielle, 36 and Flame, 4. It was also claimed Tina caused chaos backstage at the Cloud Nine Theater in Barrow in Furness, Cumbria by locking herself in the only working toilet for hours, reports Mirror Online. The website reports that according to a former cast member, the star's alleged long sessions in the toilet left child actors so desperate that they would wet themselves.
Mail Online has contacted a representative for Tina for comment. A source told the website, she was an absolute nightmare. There was only one working toilet backstage and she would just sit in it for hours saying she was smoking. If you tried to go in she would scream and shout at you, even the kids were sworn at. With a cast of children the toilet needed to be available but Tina didn't care, she just wanted to stay in there. And when she wasn't in the toilet she was in her dressing room, surrounded by rolls of 20 pound notes. A spokesman for Cloud9 Theatre declined to comment when approached by Mail Online but confirmed that Tino would not be performing in the play's final show on Sunday. Show director and producer Joe Purdy posted a statement to Facebook confirming Tina's sacking from the show and said the cast and crew were shocked and saddened by the incident. He wrote, I can confirm an incident took place on the evening on Friday 22 December and as a result on this we, Joe Purdy Productions, and the artist involved, Tina Malone, have made a mutual decision to terminate said contract with immediate effect as soon as we were made aware of the situation. We've had a fabulous time in Pantaland and recent events will only make us a stronger team for the remainder of the run. Today's and tomorrow's performances will go ahead as normal, Al with Alan French in the role of Carabas. I'd like to thank Alan for stepping in at the 11th hour with less than an hour's notice. The chaperones, cast. Children and creative safety is our first priority hence the immediate termination of the contract on discovery of the incident. We'd like to wish everyone who's come to watch us a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and we hope to see you again in the near future. The cast and crew were deeply shocked and saddened by the events but in true panto spirit, the show must go on. We all remain upbeat and positive that the remaining two shows will be just as wonderful as the 16 shows prior, we look forward to seeing you there. Tina herself appeared to comment on the incident writing thanks for why Niner support Joe you and I both now know what happened, funny how my costume was altered to fit me the hour after I left the theatre. Good luck Joe X, sick. Hours before the shock arrest, a cheerful Tina dressed up as a sexy Santa to pose outside the theatre before her performance. The star flashed her midriff in a festive and very skimpy red and white velvet crop top as she confidently worked the cameras. Showing off her trim figure, the star paired the tiny top with glittery leather leggings that hugged her slender legs, which she paired with black ankle boots. flashing her purple underwear as she smiled for the camera. The actress also donned a furry white and red father Christmas hat. She wore dramatic beetled false eyelashes, with her makeup look also featuring stapened brows, peachy cheeks and a slick of red lipstick. Appearing to be trying to avoid a wardrobe malfunction, the star held onto her chest as she descended the stairs before her photo call.
the star allegedly asked her fellow pantomime cast members if anyone had seen her little bag of snow shortly before she was arrested on suspicion of possessing cocaine. Tina was starring in the performance of Sleeping Beauty on Friday with her four-year-old daughter in attendance. Staff reportedly tipped off police after suspecting the actress had taken cocaine during both rehearsals and performances. A source said the star was asking whether anyone had seen her little bag of snow after it reportedly went missing. And a show insider told The Mirror the mother was behaving diva-ish and constantly complaining about the accommodation the theatre had put her up in. Cumbria Police confirmed the actress had been arrested and received a caution for the offence. She was photographed between performances last night wearing her costume while walking back from a nearby McDonald's restaurant. As she came off stage, she heard a rumor police had been tipped off she was using cocaine, a source told the newspaper. She tried to get a taxi, but police stopped her in time and took her inside the venue to search her. She begged the police not to handcuff her, and seemed very worried. Cumbria police said, police were called at 8.21 p.m. yesterday, December 22, to the report of a female being in possession of an illegal substance. The incident occurred on Dilkeith Street, Barrow. A 54-year-old woman, from Merseyside, was arrested on suspicion of being in possession of a Class A drug. The woman was detained whilst she helped police with their enquiries. She was later cautioned for the offence. She was replaced by an understudy in today's performances. Barrow Pantu said, during today's performance the part of Carabas will be played by the incredible Alan French. No further comment will be made at this time. The Panto is due to finish its run tomorrow. She also shared the stage with Big Brother contestant, Ellie Young, who played the princess. Tina is best known for her role as Mimi Maguire in High Channel 4 comedy drama Shameless, and has also starred in Dinnerlities and Brookside. A representative for the actress was not available for comment last night. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.